When the war ended, the Navy and the newly established Atomic Energy Commission could then undertake what was to be a revolutionary project, the use of nuclear power to propel naval ships. In 1946, a group of naval officers and civilians were assigned to work on the Manhattan Engineer District's Daniels Power Pile Project at the Clinton Laboratories, now the Atomic Energy Commission's Oak Ridge National Laboratory, Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Senior member was Captain, later Vice Admiral, H.G. Rickover, a qualified submariner and engineer with a strong faith in both the practicality and necessity of atomic propulsion. His convictions and determination soon made him a dedicated and efficient spokesman for a nuclear navy. He became the driving force in the design, development, construction, and operation of nuclear propulsion systems for submarines and surface ships. The hopes of Captain Rickover and the Navy were encouraged when Chief of Naval Operations, Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, approved a program for the design and development of nuclear power. With the termination of the Oak Ridge Pile Project, Captain Rickover and his group returned to work with the Atomic Energy Commission. Serving as the director, Division of Naval Reactors, United States Atomic Energy Commission, and as Assistant Chief for Nuclear Propulsion, Bureau of Ships in the Department of the Navy, and with no precedent and no technology available for such an undertaking, he had to start from scratch. He had to conceive, design, develop a reactor in detail, and build and test the countless components and systems. Under his direction, the program brought in industrial participation. In 1948, the AEC contracted with the Westinghouse Electric Corporation for the development of a pressurized water reactor plant for the propulsion of a submarine. A land prototype of this reactor plant was constructed at the AEC's National Reactor Testing Station in Idaho. Construction began in August 1950, and the reactor was first operated at power on 31 May 1953. This was the first production of significant quantities of useful nuclear power in the world. The prototype was also used to train the crews which would operate the nuclear power plant. The nuclear navy needed highly trained and competent personnel to ensure the safe and proper operation of nuclear power plants. In 1951, the navy awarded a contract to Westinghouse for the design and construction of a similar plant for installation in the world's first nuclear-powered submarine, the USS Nautilus. Design and development were done by the AEC's Bettis Atomic Power Laboratory in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This laboratory is operated by Westinghouse for the Atomic Energy Commission. This is a simplified schematic drawing of a nuclear propulsion plant. This is the reactor, and this the steam propulsion machinery. The reactor, encased in heavy shielding, contains fuel elements of highly enriched uranium. Control rods of neutron absorbing material control the activity of the reactor as they are inserted or withdrawn. As controlled fissioning or splitting of uranium atoms occurs in the reactor, tremendous heat results. This heat is carried to a steam generator by highly pressurized water. Here, the heat is transferred to less highly pressurized water, which is converted into steam to drive the ship's propulsion turbine and turbine generator sets. The turbine generator sets provide all the electricity required aboard the ship. This is the system that went into the Nautilus. 